This video is on how to correctly make compound sentences. First, you have to begin with two complete sentences. For example, I really enjoy playing baseball is one idea. I don't like watching baseball is a second idea. To join two sentences, you will always need two pieces of glue. You can either use a comma plus a conjunction or a semicolon, which is made of a comma plus a dot or a period. Most people use a comma plus a conjunction to join their two sentences. To do so, you need to use one of the fanboys, which is short for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So here are the two ideas joined with a comma and a conjunction. I really enjoy playing baseball, comma, but I don't like watching it. Notice you pick a fanboy that works for the sentence. I would not say I really enjoy playing baseball and I don't like watching it because the two ideas are contrasting so I need a fanboy that shows contrast and but shows that my two ideas don't agree even though they're about the same topic. This example shows you how to use a semicolon. A semicolon has a dot or a period to mark the end of the first idea. However, it puts a comma to show it's joining to the next idea and it has two pieces. So, instead of using a comma conjunction, you can use a semicolon, a comma dot. This is a standard that starts in eighth grade and goes all the way up. You definitely want to incorporate this into your writing at least one or two times per essay to demonstrate you have higher level writing skills. Notice, in this example, it says, I really enjoy playing baseball, semicolon, I don't like watching it. In this example, the I is capitalized in the second part of the sentence because it's replacing someone's name. If there were any other sentence after this and it didn't start with someone's name or I to replace someone's name, the second sentence would start with a small letter to show it's joined to the first sentence with the semicolon. Next, I want to talk about frequent errors. The first error that I see in most students coming from 8th to 9th grade is that they are joining the two sentences with no comma. They are adding a conjunction, but they're leaving out a comma. This would be marked as a run-on, and you would lose points for that. Here's an example. Same two sentences. Notice it still uses but, but the person forgot to put a comma. It's a simple thing. Check for it every time and fix it. The next error is an example where the conjunction is left out. This is called a comma splice. It also will cost you points. So remember, to join two complete ideas, you must use two pieces of glue, comma plus a conjunction or a semicolon, which is made up of a comma dot. One error that I see from time to time is that students will put the comma after the conjunction. This is not correct either. Um, and the comma pauses you so you can change your tone. So for example, I really enjoy playing baseball, but I don't like watching baseball. That doesn't sound right. Instead, it should say, I really enjoy playing baseball, but I don't like watching baseball. That comma pauses so you can adjust your voice and show the contradictory tone. So, I bet I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, well, I don't have to make any of these errors if I just stick to writing simple sentences. If you're watching this video, it's because your teacher wants you to incorporate compound sentences in your writing. Should all of your sentences be compound? No, that would be boring. You should have some simple, you should have some compound. But when you do your compound, you need to do them correctly. So remember, you just take two ideas that are two complete sentences, and you need two pieces of glue, either a comma plus a conjunction or a comma plus a dot, which is a semicolon. I know you can do this. I want you to impress me. And for those of you out there with another class, impress your teacher too.